I was actually pleasantly surprised with how premium the HD77 felt. The HD77 does a fantastic job, but for the average everyday user, this is still really good. They're giving you amazing sound quality for a really good price. This thing is fantastic. Really good battery life will easily last you. Build quality on this thing is really good. This, this is amazing. The treble app HD77, um, fantastic speaker. Built really well. It's the best Bluetooth speaker in that price range by far. I'm very, very, very impressed. And you could just see them pounding away. I think that's so awesome for less than a hundred bucks. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. I say, get it. When you first open your box, you're gonna find a user manual. With your TJ4Q system, you're gonna get four slave speakers. With the master main unit, with functionalities of Bluetooth, auxiliary, and radio, and also an SD holder. You're gonna get a wired control, an auxiliary cord, and a power cable. Also, two sets of clamps and two antennas, and screws and an extra fuse for your speakers and for your clamps. When assembling your mounting brackets, you're gonna to wanna to grab the bigger bracket and put it the loop facing out. You're gonna to wanna to proceed with putting the smaller screws in each of these four slots. Once done, you're gonna to wanna to grab the other side of the mounting bracket and place it in the spot. When in the spot, you're gonna to wanna to grab the longer screws and screw in one through the back with the screws facing out. When wiring your unit, you're going to want to grab your power cable first and plug it in. You're going to want to grab your speakers and plug them in to each unit. And you're going to want to grab your power control and plug it into the outlet. Now time to power up your unit. You're gonna to wanna to grab your power cable and put the red with the positive and the black with the negative. Now grab your wired control, press and hold the top button. Bluetooth. Now press the top button to change the mode. FM radio. <laughs> Auxiliary input. Bluetooth. Now let's connect to Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth is connected. And that's it. It is a um, holder for speakers, um, water bottles, you name it. Anything that could fit in this massive radius. Um, this is my Nalgene water bottle. Um, it's pretty big, as you can tell. Um, and this strap holds it pretty well. I've biked with this, I've biked at least 20, 30 miles with this, um, and this bottle has never fallen off. It has worked perfectly. I've had speakers on it playing music. As you can see, it's nice and tight. Can't even move it. And as you can see, it's very compact, fits well on the bike, doesn't interfere with the wheels. The grip is amazing on this. It's easy to access because of the velcro straps right here so you have two velcro straps and as you pull it out you get the water bottle and we have a leather band here to make sure nothing's getting scratched and these velcro straps can stay on your bike um, it's very easy to set up as you can see I can just have three of these velcro straps banded up to the um, bike rod and everything's good so definitely would check this out guys it's very very the bose soundlink revolve and soundlink revolve plus provide deep loud and immersive sound with true 360 degree coverage in this video we'll help you get started with your new speaker first carefully unpack the carton you'll find a usb cable a power supply and your speaker Plug the small end of the USB cable into the micro B USB connector on your speaker. Plug the other end into the power supply. 
Begin by plugging into an AC power source. Your speaker ships with a partial charge, but you must connect it to AC power to activate the battery on initial use. Once power is connected, the battery indicator blinks amber and your speaker will initialize the battery, then emit a tone. You are now ready to turn on your speaker. The first time you power the speaker on, the Bluetooth indicator will glow blue and you will hear a voice prompt to select your language. Simply follow the voice prompts to select your language. To stream music, you must pair a device to your speaker. For Bluetooth, head to your device's Bluetooth menu and select Bose SoundLink Revolve from the device list. Once paired, you'll hear a connection announcement and the Bluetooth indicator will glow solid white. To pair with NFC, tap and hold the NFC touch point on your device to the top center of the speaker aiming for the Bose logo. Your device may prompt you to accept pairing. Once paired, you'll hear the connection announcement and the Bluetooth indicator will glow solid white. Additionally, you can download the free Bose Connect app from the Apple app or Google Play Store. Now you're ready to enjoy music and speakerphone capabilities of your new Bose speaker. We hope you like our video. Subscribe to our channel for more new videos and the latest information. Please write your opinion in the comment section.